What's going on, everybody? My name is Japes, and welcome to episode number 25, a Saturday edition of my Path to Power. As you can see, we just discard, we went ahead and discarded Leandra Damio on the screen right there. Now, why do we do that? We wanted the 650 coins so we could pick up that Martin Caceres on a buy now uh, and be able to hopefully sell him on for about 15,000 coins. Pick up Tim Visa there as well. 13,750 coins in a 442. Quite a nice buy as he should sell somewhere in the high teens. Uh, so we can make a couple thousand coins off of him. Got to make our money back, though, after wasting the 25K on a worthless, worthless premium gold jumbo pack. Uh, I know some of you guys have been harping on saying, oh, you know, Japes, the 4231 Brazil squad, how creative. But don't worry, we end up going for quite a nice little hybrid squad builder going on in this episode as well. So you'll get to see that. Uh, but as you can see, most of those players sold that we had in our trade pile. We send all the players from the Brazilian side to the trade pile. Uh, we're up over 100,000 coins right now. So we could actually make quite a nice hybrid once everybody sells in here. Uh, and don't forget, we had Cicinho and Marcio Azevedo, two of the most expensive Brasilvers, uh, well, most expensive Brasilver defenders out there. Uh, and we go about selling these. Some of these cards I could have gotten more out of as they sell just about instantly. I think at the Tiago Silva, I'd list him for just a few thousand coins more, uh, maybe like 43,000, 44,000. And he sells while I'm actually listing the rest of the cards. So a bit of a mistake on my part for not going out and checking the current market value, the C CMV as I may, uh, I think I'm gonna is what I'm gonna call it from this point forward. But as you can see, he goes ahead and sells, jump up to the coin total, 149,000. Uh, and so I'm thinking I've got some room to play with. Went ahead and uh, plotted out what I thought would be an excellent squad in my head. And it starts with Zarate right there. I don't know how many of you guys have used him, but I find him to be absolutely incredible. Pick him up for 4,900 coins, set as a striker. He's default set as a center forward. Uh, I think his traits, he's got long shot taker, speed dribbler, finesse shot, poacher, selfish. I don't know. He's got tons Tons of them. He's a great player on FIFA Ultimate Team. Pick up the 87 Shinji Kagawa, uh, and he is unreal. I've yet to use one of his inform cards. Shocking, I know, uh, especially with how much that I like the Bundesliga, but that card is absolutely unreal. Apparently, his stats uh, on that card are very similar to his uh, to the uh, higher rated cards that he gets above that, so I saw no need to go for more, uh, and it's quite a nice little buy. I think I paid somewhere around 70,000 coins for him so per, the most expensive player that we've bought uh, thus far in my path to power as you can see we're filling out the rest of the side I'll give you the way it's going to look we're going to have uh, Zarate and the inform Palacio as my two strikers both Argentine and both from the Serie A we're going to be playing a 4 one 2 and 2 so we'll have Kagawa as our center attacking mid we're going to have uh, one of the inform versions of Nene eventually for the sake of playing a few games in this episode I just purchased the regular Nene uh, we'll have Gundogan as as our CDM and Kuba Blashikovsky as our right mid. Our defense is going to consist of Abate, Chiellini, Sirigiu, uh, uh, the Italian um, keeper for PSG, who's actually an incredible buy on this game. I just don't know why I don't see him on more teams. Uh, Sacco, Maxwell to round out the defense, and look at that for a nice little side. Uh, on the bench, I just put in 4 one 2 one 2 buy now, 300 coins or 400 coins, whatever it was. Uh, and just picked up some players to fill it out. I'm sure I'll go ahead and find some better players eventually. But we come up against this guy who loves the ping pong passing style of the 4-3-1-2. So he's kind of annoying to play against. But Palacio there gets inside. He's the first one to finish with his weak foot, his left foot. Uh, and he is, for. I think I paid 20,000 coins for him. Maybe 18,000, 18,500 I think is actually what it was. Uh, and he's he was he's worth every penny. So far, so good. He's got a great shot. He's got great passing he's got strong finishing he's fast enough his ball control is good uh, he's another one of those players that with Zarate I just don't know why they aren't used more frequently when you can pick up some pretty solid informs for about 20,000 coins you are doing something right or you found a good player uh, I tend to only want to buy players with four star skills for the most part that's not always the case as Blashikovsky doesn't have him but Shinji Kagawa the finesse shot the curve right there what a uh, what a little player he is just absolutely incredible his ball 
control. I prefer playing with that 87 Kagawa uh, than I have with the 94 Messi that I bought on my other account to play around with. I sold the Messi on almost instantly because it, I just I just don't enjoy playing with him. I don't know what it is, but give the penalty to Kagawa. Let him go ahead and strike another one through to get him set up on a brace. Uh, and Blashikovsky has the pace. He is beyond pacey. Um, and he just absolutely flew by this guy's defense, but we eventually played in and it makes its way to Zarate to tuck it in nicely to take quite a lead there. That's how this one's going to end. I believe it ends at 5-1. to one. So good start to this tournament. Now, this was the 6,000 coin tournament uh, that we were in originally now it's only worth 4,000 coins because we've already won it one time but still 4,000 coins is better than the 2,000 coin tournament in the advanced cup so we'll take it we'll enter it and we'll see what we can do square away into another match against Los Monarchas uh, he's got a pretty nice BPL side with Chicharito and Robin Van Persie up front but nice flick on header there and Zarate no mistake about it again guys he is one of my absolute favorite regular gold players on ultimate team if you've not tried him out I would encourage you to go check him out. He is an absolute handful to deal with. Uh, just a stunning, stunning player. I try to fit him into as many squads as I can. Makes for a great 4-3-2-1 uh, hybrid where you can get Lavetsi and Hulk up in there as well. But Zarate slots in to give me, I think, the two goal, maybe three goal lead there um, for the win in the 90th minute, three to nil, uh, and quite a nice start to this tournament. But that is how we are going to close out this episode. If you guys did enjoy this, feel free to give it a thumbs up. It does help me out, and I do greatly appreciate it. We've got VSG coming again on Sunday. Other than that, my name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time. Thank you.